And there it is guys, the long haired little guy, official. Hey little guys, it is Matt, you know me. Uh, someone you may or may not know. If you've been watching Acme's channel, you probably saw this guy, but here is Rob, Rob from Rob's Odd Jobs. And uh, you might know that I'm going down on some loans, so I contacted him, because uh, he said, he's like, hey, I want to meet that guy. I said, I want to meet him too. So I called him up, and lo and behold, he's going to be working in my area, and I'm going down on lawns, so I thought I might be able to give him some business. So we're gonna go check out a couple lawns, and maybe we'll take you with you, may take you with us, and uh, I don't know, maybe we'll leave you out, to be honest with you. Depends on how it goes, but either which way, we're coming back, all right? And we'll tell you all about it. Okay, this is the one that I was telling you is the front yard only. Okay. They run a robot in the back. And a robot in the back, and they got this little garden that's in the backyard right here. But other than that, it's pretty open. They got a patio, and they got this little garden where that little trellis is. Or I say trellis, but the little, uh, that's just a gate. So you can't, I was just weeding in that area because they have little planters around there. So basically they do their own backyard and this is the front. Yeah, I trim out the back and then I, and then I, I was mowing the front, full service on the front. Uh, and here's the deal because that was $15. Uh, so I understand you, if you were to, if you were, if you were to take them, you would, I know you would go up on that. So, but. Just the lawn itself, just the front would probably. Uh, yeah. 25 at least yeah um i could go up but i want i want full lawns i want um, she's been she's been with me since the beginning too and i do her on a bi-weekly basis uh i'm not again it's, it's really unhealthy sometimes the backyard can can be a little bit uh a little bit of a pain because uh they have a dog and they got kids so sometimes i gotta go around and pick some things up um but honestly other than the square footage it's it's also easy easy to easy to mow because it doesn't grow that much so I, I always wanted to get on bi-weekly but I or, or on weekly basis but it just doesn't need it it's one of those where the weeds grow faster than the grass and the grass doesn't really grow that much the property line is uh is right here yeah. yeah and then the backyard I'll show you the backyard a little bit we can just peek Dogs or a little dog? A little dog. Okay. I, at least used to be a little dog. <laughs> <laughs> Those big dogs, they lay big piles. I, yeah, they do, they do. I don't remember any large piles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, any of these smaller, and I'm getting fifty dollars. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even set the price. I said, hey, I need to give me fifty dollars to do it. Yep. <laughs> Jumped on Man. it. I want some more of those, you know. I'm definitely well. You YouTube, are. you guys got to work on me. I'm not charging enough. I already knew that, but <laughs> I I just got another ray of light. So, <laughs> so so YouTube, tell me what do you think? Do you think Rob's interested in anything by the look on his face right now? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Maybe a couple of them. <laughs> maybe a couple of them. <laughs> this one's a larger front yard. Front yard only. Uh, I was going to go up to $35 this year uh, from 30 I was doing 30 on a weekly basis. Just for the front yard? Front, front yard only. These are, none of these are bagging? None of bagging, nope. I do 35 that, That's fair. Because yeah. that I was going to go up to 35 yeah. is what I was going to do. That, that's fair. I think that was, that's about the only one you used right on the dot with. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, I need to put like a sad face to crying face on or something over this you video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, if some of you YouTubers are out there thinking that the little guy was crazy, uh, it's it's confirmed. Yeah, I'm a little crazy. <laughs> so, cool. Uh, All right, I think I'm gonna take around just kind of showing the rest of the neighborhood. So, uh, I think that's gonna be it for you guys. Take it easy. Well, what a great time I had with Mr. Rob going around with him, looking at properties. We even looked at a fencing job that I had that I was about ready to bid on again, and he gave me some nice little tips. Really appreciated my time with Mr. Rob, so um, maybe we can do some work together here in the 
near future. But anyways, today, what's on the, the task for today? Today is Saturday, and behind me is my garage. Can you guys see it? Maybe I need to get out of the camera. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. This is crazy, isn't it? Hey, Milo, what are you doing here? I'm going to keep you. I got all kinds of junk. All kinds of junk. Look at this. Well, as you guys know, I'm trying to get organized. And um, I bought a cabinet from Sam's Club. And I bought a sprayer. And I want to do a video on those things of uh, kind of an unboxing. Maybe even me putting the cabinet together or something like that. But um, I got to get this garage cleaned up first. And Kristen's going to help me with this too, because we got to get rid of some stuff too. But uh, I'll show you the boxes. That is my sprayer that I bought at 24 volt Chapin. And then here is my cabinet with a little bit of concrete in front of it. So, anyways, we're going to hop to it. I hope we can get this done today so that we can get this uh, garage cleaned up. We got some room to work, to walk, and uh, we'll pick it up a little later down the road. I'll show you where I'm at in the garage, okay? I think we're making actually fairly decent progress, although like I can tell that my tool bench is not going to get done uh, soon. <laughs> but anyways, here's what I got so far. So I still have yet to, to determine what I'm going to do with the shelving right here, but I think this is going to be my, uh, my fertilizer storage area. This is going to be my wife's area. These are our chairs for life group or for our, our small group. Shoes, things like that. Uh, I put all that stuff in a trash can and this is all my hazmat and stuff that needs to go away. Alrighty guys, so I've got the garage uh, cleared out enough to where I can build this cabinet, so here we are. So the cabinet's going to go right here, okay? And uh, I'm going to give you some dimensions on this, so here it is. It's uh, about 72 inches tall, which is 6 foot. It's 36 inches uh, wide, which is three foot and 18 inches deep. So that should fit just nicely. It's a lockable cabinet and it's also on casters. So that's excellent. And I got a little picture here where, uh, I think one of the shelves is adjustable or maybe two of the shelves are adjustable and one of them isn't. Um, so that's, that should work out pretty well. So, um, this is the tool that I'm going to use to open this box. This is a grout file or a grout remover tool and, uh, also a box cutter. So let's see how well it works. Pretty nice. Hey, that's sweet. Sweet. Oh man. Let me tell you, box cutter might be losing its uh, might be losing its job. So I'm gonna get this box open. I'm gonna lay everything out, and then we'll come back again. Okay guys, so I've got everything laid out now, and it actually doesn't look like it's going to be all that complex. Um, I'll show you what I got here. There's my box full of styrofoam. And then I've got everything organized to the, uh, the part of the cabinet that it's going to be, so I'm not going to go through all that. But uh, as a dad and husband who has put together much furniture from Target, I know how important it is and what a time saver can be to have everything laid out. Uh, beforehand. Uh, so I got everything laid out. I'm going to start putting this thing together and that's where we'll pick it up. Alrighty guys, I got the cabinet all complete and I have it in place. Um, there's some things I like about it and there's some things that I don't like about it. I'll tell you right off the bat, okay? One of the things I do like about it is that it is lockable. Uh, I like it because it looks like it's going to be plenty of storage. It's going to be sturdy. It fits in the spot that I need it for the most part. Um, I like it that it's on wheels. Um, it was very easy to assemble. Uh, it did take some time, probably a couple hours, um, but you just take your time, work through the instructions, just like anything else, and uh, you know, you get it together. I mean, what do you really expect? You got a whole cabinet for two hours, right? Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around, and I'm gonna show you some things that I don't like, all right? Here you go. All right, your cabinet, right? Basic cabinet, it's great. I said, I take up almost the entire uh, I mean, I get really, really close to that edge when I park my trailer in there, so that's not really a huge big deal. It's probably going to be more of an annoyance for me, but I'm going to have to be more careful when I park my trailer in the garage so I don't hit the cabinet. Um, but 
Um, it should be good. That should fit, fits pretty good. The other thing here is, and I thought this was really, really odd, right? You're used to be able to like close a door and then latch it in there so it closes just fine or, or like a magnet or some sort, right? This one only has a magnet on one side and then the other door just kind of flows freely for the most part. And the only way it actually closes is if, is if you lock it. So it's locked right now, right? That actually moves a rod in there to close this door. See? That doesn't seem unusual, except for the fact that you don't usually need a key for that. There's usually some kind of a lever or something that you can operate to do that. So that's one thing that I don't like about it, um, but it's gonna be fine. Um, here you go, you got three different, uh, whoa, it is so windy out here today, guys. I'm gonna roll this over here and demonstrate how cool it is to have a cabinet on wheels. So there's three There's three here, and, I'm, and I got my little, you know, gallon or whatever containers right here and that fits pretty nice that's why i put that right there and then this should fit my two gallon containers pretty well i'm not planning on storing a whole whole lot of pesticides only what i need at any given time and i'll just go get more and then i have two more shelving areas right here that's evenly spaced and that that might even fit two and a half gallons or some other stuff i don't know maybe some miscellaneous stuff um, but overall it was very easy to assemble it did take some time here you go see there's the magnets magnet down there too yeah. Overall, it did take some time to uh, put together, but it was very easy. And um, pluses and minuses. Overall, $200 is how much this cost. Um, and I think I'm going to be happy with it. I believe I will. If I decide that I don't like it over here, then I'll just find another good place for it. But for now, that's where it's going to go. So um, it's time for me to finish up this garage.